بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبته في الله The holy month of Ramadan has arrived and we should give glad tidings to one another in that regard and that this comes from the understanding of the Salaf al-Salih Ridwan Allahi alayhim from Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam used to give good news to his companions with the arrival of Ramadan he would say Indeed, the month of Ramadan has arrived, a blessed month. Allah has prescribed fasting for you. In this month, the doors of paradise are open and the doors of hell are closed. The devils are shackled. In Ramadan, there is a night better than a thousand months. Whoever is prohibited from the, from the good in that night, then indeed has been prohibited from good. And this was collected by Al-Mandari in Targheeb, a Targheeb. And it was authenticated by Imam Al-Albani. Ibn al-Rajib al-Hanbali said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, some of the scholars said this hadith is a foundation for some people congratulating others with the month of Ramadan. How can one not give good news to the believer with the doors of paradise opening? How can one not give good news to the sinful that the doors of, of hell, of the hellfire, have been closed? How can one not give good news to the intelligent one with that the devils are shackled? Where can this time period be compared to any other time? And this was translated by our brother Abbas Abu Yahya, half of Allah Ta'ala, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, anything that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah bless our brother for uh, translating and his work in da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and grant us all a class with Abad and accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah bless us all with Jannah to Firdaus us and our families and guide our non-Muslim families for those of us who have non-Muslim families to the Sirat Allahi Mustaqeem wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya and Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and the last part of this dua, I also want to ask Allah the Almighty to bless and forgive and guide and increase in good and provisions and bless with Jannah to those all those who assist us in giving da'wah, who send us good reminders, like some of our brothers who I won't name, and may Allah bless them with tawfiq and ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabi Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.